Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shahazwan Harris. Everybody calls me Juan, and I hope if we do meet uh, sometime, please do call me Juan as well. I am the Chief International Officer for Tenaga National Berhad, or better known as TNB. Uh, we are the uh, Malaysian uh, National Utility Company, and we op uh, are in, uh, involved across the value chain, uh, the electricity value chain, uh, and we are predominantly um, Malaysian business, a Malaysian market, uh, company, uh, but we have started to grow into the international markets of, uh, for many years already. And more recently, more importantly, uh, we have now decided to pivot to renewables as a uh, strategy and uh, uh, leveraging from our existing uh, capabilities and experiences. And we are uh, confident that this is the right uh, strategy for us to grow into the international market. Now, I would like to thank um, the uh, organizers of Singapore International Energy Week and the ASEAN uh, Clean Energy Summit for inviting me to speak uh, uh, during the, uh, at this uh, keynote session. Um, I, this is, uh, I, I wish I could be with you uh, in Singapore. This is a um, conference that I enjoy and I try to attend every single year. But unfortunately, given the current uh, pandemic and the lockdowns, I, 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 this is the best way, I guess, for us to meet up and share ideas. I hope next year I'll be able to, be, to join you in person in Singapore. Now, let me share uh, my screen and you, will, you should be able to see uh, my slides. Uh, yes, uh, as mentioned, the uh, title of uh, my um, session is TNB's Pivot to Renewables in the International Market. Um, let me first explain um, where we are today uh, in the global market. We are uh, present in five countries or five markets today in six businesses. In fact, we've been in, uh, we've actually been in the international market uh, for, for a while. Our first investment uh, was a combined cycle power plant in Pakistan uh, called Liberty Power. This was a greenfield development, uh, 235 megawatts combined cycle, which we built um, and operated since 1995. It's been a very good experience uh, learning from this, um, uh, for the, from this experience. Uh, then in 2005, um, uh, Malakoff, Kazana and us uh, uh, joined as a Malaysian consortium together with our partners uh, Aqua Power to build the first project financed IWPP uh, in Saudi Arabia. It is a 1000, it's a 1.19 gigawatt uh, uh, oil, uh, sorry, water uh, power plant and, and water desalination plant. Uh, and this has been, a, again, another very good investment and asset for us. Uh, it continues to perform well uh, and, and has given us the financial uh, returns that we uh, had expected. Since then, it's been a lot more difficult for Tanaga to win these greenfield development uh, projects. We realized that there's a lot more players in the market, uh, a lot more international players were uh, coming into uh, uh, Asia uh, and and we were not as successful any, uh, to compete um, for greenfield development. Therefore, in order to jumpstart our growth, we decided to go in uh, to to leverage uh, to uh, utilize uh, m and to uh, quickly get into generation platforms in growth markets such as India and Turkey. And therefore, in 2016, we took significant minority stakes with uh, local promoters. Uh, GMR in India and Gamma uh, Holdings in uh, Turkey uh, and together with the promoters we uh, built up a generation platform that was a mix of conventional and a bit of RE in these markets. In 2017 and 2018 uh, we then uh, acquired RE assets, RE platforms uh, in the UK. The first was uh, a 365 megawatt one of the largest uh, ROC pla uh, solar platforms in the UK. And more recently, you would have seen the news of TNB's uh, acquisition of majority control of this asset. We now are the operators and sponsors 
of Vortex Solar together with Quap, which is a Malaysian pension fund. In 2018, uh, we acquired a 80% stake of a, uh, the largest FIT pla uh, wind platform in the UK. These are the sub one megawatt um, community wind turbines. Um, and it's small, 26 megawatts, but they are the largest FIT platform in the UK, wind platform in the UK, and they have been performing extremely well. In fact, both of these assets, uh, Vortex and TWV, Tenaga Wind Ventures, have performed uh, beyond our expectation and beyond our original investment thesis. Uh, we took 100% stake of TWV earlier this year. Uh, and now we are leveraging on our experience and uh, our capabilities in the UK to grow. We're injecting, we're planning to inject these into a growth platform. And by raising uh, uh, capital with our partners, uh, we intend to now grow in UK and Europe based out of uh, these two assets. Now, as I mentioned uh, earlier, uh, Tanaga, we have had to rethink about our international strategy. Um, we realized that internally, we needed to grow more aggressively outside of Malaysia. Um, in, in Malaysia, we are the dominant player, but uh, the government is also preparing for liberalization of the market. And therefore, we ourselves have to prepare for it as well. And because we are already in Peninsula Malaysia, about 99 plus percent electrified there really is very uh, uh, you know the, the room for growth is much uh, is much less compared to other markets we also realized that we needed to understand the new technologies and the new trends of energy transition so therefore by growing in the international market this was one way for us to build that capabilities in-house um, at the same time uh, the um, theme of energy transition have grown the renewable energy market significantly. Um, we realize that um, the opportunities and the demand for RE has been um, very, you know, is on the, on the rise. And in fact, our assets in the UK continue to be in demand in that perspective. Um, however, what uh, our challenge is, how do we compete? How do we actually compete in this market, in the international market? Um, the RE you know, uh, market in Malaysia is still fairly small. We're still fairly uh, nascent. Um, and that the capacity uh, that is growing every single year is managed by the, uh, the, the regulators and they release about 200 to 300 megawatts every year through an auction process. And because of the intention to uh, democratize the industry, every bidder can only bid for a maximum of 50 megawatts now for a player like tanaga this is very it's a very slow growth and we knew that we couldn't rely on the malaysian re market to build that capability and that capacity so that's one secondly we are still uh, considered a baby right we're still new to the re market and that to build that capability in-house we needed to go out and acquire those capabilities um, and, and we realize also that these assets that we have uh, in the UK are key to learning about the RE market. What is important for us was not to end up to be a fin pure financial investor because it is easy to place capital, but it is, um, you know, but you'll be competing with low cost capital providers like pension funds. And as a utility, we're, we don't, we're not the ones with the lowest cost of capital. So therefore, we knew we needed to be smart. We knew that we needed to find a niche and learn or, or find a value proposition on how we can grow. And that's how we came uh, to this strategy, where um, earlier this year, we, we, we put this forward as our in, uh, international uh, strategy towards achieving our 2025 goals. And it's on four prongs. The first, ground zero, uh, or rather ground zero as it says, is about protecting our existing assets and looking at ways to monetize uh, where um, possible. But also, um, value um, in terms of growing value creation of these assets, we realize that the two assets in uh, UK 
um, was a very good uh, base that we can use to grow in UK and Europe. And therefore, we are looking to leverage on those two assets to be an RE driver for UK and Europe. And that is our, what we call ambition number one. It is a clear pivot towards renewable energy, as I mentioned. And we believe that this will drive sustainability within our group, as well as learn and bring that knowledge back to Malaysia. Our second ambition is to, be, to grow a utility uh, business in Southeast Asia. But we also realize that in Southeast Asia, the best way to grow is actually through RE, through renewable energy. And later I will explain how we are planning to grow leveraging of our TNB renewables experience in Malaysia. Once we believe that once we have a beachhead or a, a footprint, uh, a, a, a foot into a market in Southeast Asia through RE, we can then bring the rest of the troops, so to speak. And then to grow that business from an RE base. I'll explain later why we believe that RE is the best way to grow even for a utility in Southeast Asia. And for ambition three, we understood that energy transition landscape is changing. Therefore, we needed to find ways to future-proof Tanaga, ensuring that we, are, we, we have access and we understand right technology that will help to grow TNB, not just in the sustainability uh, space, but overall. And therefore, our ambition number three was to be a technology catalyst for TNB. And this is what we call our, uh, this is um, the, the four prong strategy for us. Uh, and if you speak to anyone in my team, as well as in, in TNB, you'll hear the terms ambition one, ambition two, ambition three uh, being mentioned. Now, Ambition one, which is growing our UK Europe uh, business. Uh, what's important is, as I mentioned, is that we will not, we need to ensure that we grow leveraging of our experience and our capabilities and our two assets. We understand that, um, you know, we, we understand the assets well. We knew, we, we know how we were able to increase yields of these two assets since our investment. And this was true. Uh, operational excellence, bringing down cost, um, technology improvement, and also pre-financing, obviously. So therefore, if we can grow very quickly, we can bring down our, our costs even further and understanding where we could increase yields in the assets that we, were, that we would acquire. We have a very aggressive target. And as I mentioned just now, the two assets of Ventus and Vortex, or uh, Tanaga Wind Ventures and Vortex, will now be injected into a renewable energy asset company, or what we coin as RACO. And we will be bringing institutional investors from Malaysia, uh, the likes of Quap. Uh, we will invite them to invest with us so that we will have a competitive cost of capital. This is a company that will own, manage, and operate. And it is a yield co, as, as what uh, many would see from the market. We also believe that these RACOs, or these renewable energy asset company, RACOs, are, will be the future in Southeast Asia and other markets as well. As the secondary market in Southeast Asia builds up, we will intend to build these RACOs where we will inject our assets, our RE assets into them and invite other investors who are looking for strong dividend yields to invest with us. However, to ensure that Raku will have a good uh, pipeline, we will also be looking at an uh, energy developer to develop greenfield assets to grow. In Southeast Asia, um, we, and we know that there are many opportunities for RE and they're still fairly small, but we know that the uh, growth will be tremendous over the next 10 years. So therefore, what we will do is leverage off our uh, experience and our uh, capabilities in Malaysia to grow into Southeast Asia. We intend to partner with local players, as well as players who are looking to grow in Southeast Asia. We believe that we should be a dominant player in Southeast Asia in the future, and we should be driving RE technology uh, for the market. 
we have found very interesting opportunities in markets like Vietnam, in Thailand, in Singapore and Philippines. But very importantly is to ensure that we have the right partners who can help us grow into those markets. Again, we are, try, we, were, we are trying to avoid to be a pure financial investor, but instead looking at ways where we can really leverage of our capabilities as well as our partners and then grow um, organically as well as through m and Now, I believe I'm coming to a, 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 the end of my session. It's already coming up to 15 minutes. And, and so, uh, again, this is um, a, a very important uh, strategy for us. Um, we are fairly confident um, that we will hit our aggressive targets and we welcome anyone who would like to uh, partner with us on this journey. We believe renewable energy is definitely uh, the future and it will open many other doors uh, for players uh, in, uh, in the global utility business. So with that, I will end my session um, and I would like to thank um, everyone for listening in uh, and I hope you have a successful summit uh, and conference in Singapore. Look forward to catch up with everyone soon. Thank you.